Everybody worries about range, they worry about power, and today I am going to add more power. I'm gonna add more batteries to this trike right here, but not for either of those reasons. If you want to see a working microwave on an electric trike, yes, I can actually ride and cook my lunch on this thing, hit that like button right now. This may sound a little bit ridiculous, but this is normally a front hub motor 500 watt trike, and we're going to add 1300 watts of power, and it's not gonna do anything to actually propel the bike forward. What it is gonna do, however, is give me the ability to microwave on the go. Yes, you heard that right. I am actually going to put a microwave on the back of this electric trike, and be able to cook my lunch today while at work, while out for a ride. There's really not a good reason for why to do this, but let me show you how. First things first, we don't wanna drain our battery down that propels us forward with the microwave, so we're using two extra batteries. Now I could fit up to five extra batteries, but I think two is the minimum I need to get this microwave going. Next, I have a parallel connector. This is a standard parallel connector. This is not a smart switching parallel connector like I have on my website. So what we have to do before plugging this in is verify that the voltages of each battery are the same, that they're evenly charged. Otherwise, if this one was dead and this one is fully charged, the current would rush from one to the other and destroy both. We don't wanna do that. So I have checked and verified that both of these batteries are fully charged. I've plugged this in, this connector is now alive, the batteries are on. We're gonna use a very high-tech security system to make sure nothing moves, and that is called foam. Now the next piece of the puzzle, obviously we can't plug this directly into a 110 volt, 1300 watt microwave. We need something to change DC power over to AC. And this is a little bit overkill, but it's gonna work great. This is a 3000 watt inverter. It can peak even higher, and this is gonna easily power the microwave from the two batteries. I know what you're thinking, so far this looks pretty sketchy, the wiring's a little bit scary, and it is. We have two 110 volt outlets here. We've got a power switch, so if we turn this on, we have our battery voltage right here. It says 41.5, and our output voltage, 120. Perfect. the piece de resistance to the microwave. I wish I had this a little bit further along. A couple of guys just went by on road bikes and I so would have loved to have passed them while making my lunch. <laughs> Our microwave is plugged in. Solid as a rock teetering on the edge of a cliff. Now all I need is something to put in there and test this out. Lunchtime on the go. So far so good. I feel like this works as a nice little table. My currently frozen boxed lunch. Proof that it is frozen solid. Obligatory holes popped. And now the best part, I don't even have to stop I can actually start microwaving and get back writing. So I've got two more minutes I can go have fun. Two minutes. I just have the gentle hum of the microwave behind me. Going out for a bike ride, cooking my lunch. So those campers on the side of the road, you can't cook and drive. You have to stop and get out. I'm starting to get worried that I haven't heard a beep. Ooh, it's done. It's done. I hear it. Okay, you gotta let it cool for like 30 seconds, right? Slow down for the turn. It worked. Now the microwave not only makes a nice table that you can set your food on once you're ready to eat, but 
Just flip the seat around. Ho oh, ho! Fine e bike dining. Probably the best idea I've had yet. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I know this was a little bit silly, but a lot of fun. If you want to see actual products that are in development, you can always join the channel, which means you get access to Bolton Labs. Basically, those are special videos once a month where we show new products that actually are being developed. We just released one of those videos yesterday and they come out every month. Either way, make sure to hit that subscribe button because there's definitely always something unique on the Bolton eBikes YouTube channel. I'll see you next Thursday for another video. Oh, hot. That's really hot. <laughs>